This is a ramping up your English book review. If you've taken an interest in the theme of trains and railroads, you can grow that interest with Trains Magazine. This is for the serious rail fan or just anyone who loves trains. Each issue has a main theme, this one about western steam engines clearing the tracks of snow and ice. Since the featured events were for our photographers, there are incredible pictures in this special winter and holiday issue. This issue also features Union Station in Kansas City, a beautifully remodeled historic train station served by Amtrak's Southwest Chief during its nighttime run between Chicago and Los Angeles. Trains Magazine is also a good source of finding railroad museums closest to your home. If you want to know more, visit their website. I found my copy at a newsstand and I just couldn't resist buying it. This has been a Ramping Up Your English book review. I'm John Letts. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. This is segment two of episode 28. We're using the themes of trains and railroads in order to help you improve your English. The Southwest Chief is the second Amtrak train I ever rode back in 1984. I had one week of vacation and very little money. Amtrak had this special back then that allowed you to pay one low fare according to how many of the three zones you traveled in. As far as I could go was going east to Santa Fe, New Mexico without entering another zone and paying more. This was the first time, this trip that I'm talking about, this was actually the first time that I traveled in northern Arizona and New Mexico. And I was intrigued by the landscape. This was very different from Oregon. And being on the train allowed me to really gaze upon the landscape. I didn't have any video camera at the time. In fact, these shots were taken with an Instamatic camera shooting 110 size film. Here are some of the shots I got. This is the, this fantastic bridge over the Rio Grande River gave me a tiny taste of vertigo, just enough to thrill my, my senses. You can see the river way down there. I got to visit a, a living Pueblo, an Indian Pueblo also, or was it the Pueblo Indians I visited? Either way, it fulfilled an intrigue I'd had ever since my childhood. In Santa Fe, I visited the state capitol, as well as I saw the Cabildo of the old Spanish days. You can see the Cabildo right there. From inside the uh, adobe structure, I had to crawl around these old cave dwellings and wonder about the people who lived there before the Europeans arrived. So that was my view that you're looking at right here. This magical landscape played with my imagination, even, even as I had the real experience of being there. I did all this in a week and returned to my news reporting job in Medford. When my boss asked me about my vacation, I could only answer honestly, it was too short. So while I traveled only a short distance on the Southwest Chief, it was very much a peak experience that left me eager to take this outstanding train again, which is exactly what I did with Liz in 2013. In our last episode, we explored ways to boost our speaking proficiency by finding or forming conversation groups. Now, I've listed some resources that will help you get there on my website. Visit letscreate.org and go to the episode 27 page. You can reach my website from your home computer or from your smartphone as long as you're connected to the Internet. You can watch Ramping Up Your English on Channel 15 and other channels on the Ashland Home Network and on Channel 182 on Charter Cable in Southern Oregon. You can also see the program and download it by going to archive.org slash details slash rogue tv there you can get the video on demand now if you found and joined english conversation groups since our last episode congratulations the benefits will be huge as you engage in real communication using the proficiency you've gained through watching our video clips reading about our topic and doing the activities posted on my website if you find you're not doing a lot of talking in that group I recommend having patience. When the time's right, you're likely to join in and you'll find it hard to stop talking. If you haven't found a conversation group yet, keep looking and remember that a conversation group can be as small as two people. 
The important thing is that you're supporting each other and learning from each other, plus you're getting this crazy language on your tongue and out of your mouth. That's important. It's likely to sound clunky when you first start with many quiet gaps and a few laughs. That's all normal. That's just normal. You'll find that you and your partners will have more and more to say as you continue to meet and the conversation will smooth out over time. It takes some patience, but it's worth it. Now, if you can partner with people who've been watching our program, you should have lots to say and to understand when you talk about trains and railroads. That will branch out into other areas of interest since much of what we're learning is transferable. In other words, you don't have to be a rail fan to be in the conversation group. You'll have a lot to talk about and you'll have even more when you see the California State Railroad Museum in Sacramento. We have a tiny taste of that world-class museum when we return.